Okay, today's lesson is on function notation and zeros. So we have a lot of information in a little bit of time, so let's get started. Notice that I have my different colored pens uh, that I recommend you have because it enhances your uh, remembering, your memory. And uh, to listen to the video as much as taking notes because hearing it is much more important than just mindlessly copying things down. So function notation is a way to name different equations by substituting the y value, the y value with f of x or g of x or h of x. Right, so if you have an equation that says y equals 2x plus 1, another way that you could write that in function notation would be f of x equals 2x plus 1. Or you could write it as g of x equals 2x plus 1. Or you could do h of x or any other letter. Right, and it's just a different way to name different equations on a graph. Zeros are when a function crosses the x-axis. It's also known as the x-intercept, or when f of x is equal to a zero. In other words, when y equals zero, because again, f of x replaces y in functions. So let's look at an example here. If we have our y-axis there and our x-axis here, and then we had a line that starts here and comes down and goes up like that. We would have two zeros right here would be one of them. And let's say that coordinates for that point are two zero. And then we have another one right there. Let's say the coordinates for that point are five zero. So we would have two zeros. So you could say F of two equals zero or F of five equals zero, in which case two is your zero and five is your zero, because those are your x-intercepts. Okay, uh, so let's go down to this part two, where it says part one. Evaluate the following functions for the given values. So we have the function f of x equals 5x minus two, and we want to evaluate that for f of negative five. What we're going to do is you're going to substitute a negative five in every single time you see an x. So 5 times negative 5 minus 2. So f of negative 5 is equal to negative 25 minus 2. And then f of negative 5 is equal to a negative 27. And what that gives you there is it gives you a pair of coordinates. And the coordinates would be our x value, which is negative 5, and our f of x value, or y value, which is negative 27. For the second example, we're going to substitute an m in. So f of m is equal to 5m minus 2. And it still gives us a pair of coordinates. The coordinates in this case would be m and then 5m minus 2. OK? Let's try that again for our second example. And we're going to look at this function. And this function is h of x equals 7x. So we're going to solve for an h of negative 4. So h of negative 4 is equal to 7 times negative 4. So h of negative 4 is equal to a negative 28. So the coordinates that we have come up with for the h of x function is negative 4 comma negative 28. Okay? For h of t, it's going to be similar we are just going to substitute a t in for the x. And again, our coordinates for this point, it's all variables. And you're going to use this more in your upper level, upper level math classes. The one would be t. The second one would be 7t. Okay? The last part we're going to do is we're going to look at graph functions. We've looked at the equations part. Now we're going to look at the graphs. And we're going to put it into into action. So we have our graph line and it is a graph line so it is continuous and it says find f of negative 3 equals what? So 
f of negative 3. That's our x value. So we want to go to negative 3 on your x and figure out where the line crosses. So the line crosses right there. And the coordinates of that point are negative 3 is my x, and negative 1 is my f of x, or y. So negative f of negative 3 equals negative 1 on this graph, which means it goes through the point negative 3, negative 1. For f of 2, we want to go to where x equals 2, and then find where the line intersects with the graph. And we have found that it is positive 2, negative 1. So negative 1 again in this case. So again, negative 1. And another set of coordinates would be positive 2, negative 1. For the third example down here, it's kind of the opposite. So it says f of what equals negative 2. So we want to find a point, and I'm going to take a straight edge and put it on where y equals negative 2. And if we notice that, we notice that this point right here is the, on the line, and that's where y is negative 2. So we have to figure out what our x value is, and our x value is a positive 1, and then we have a negative 2. So f of positive 1 equals negative 2. So 1, negative 2. Okay? Now it's asking for the zeros. So the zeros are, again, where the line crosses the x-axis. And as I look here, my straight edge, I have one example there, green, one example there, pink, one example here, light blue, and then one example here, I'm going to go purple. So we have four different zeros in this example. And I'm just going to start with the one on the left, and that would be negative 1, negative 2, negative, negative 3.5. And then the pink one would be negative 2.5. The light blue one would be, it's at the origin, so it's 0, 0. And then the purple one would be at 1, 2, 3, positive 3. So this graph had four zeros because it had four x-intercepts. On my second uh, graph, I'm going to plot some points, so you need to plot the points with me. Let's plot the first point at negative 4, positive 3. Let's plot the second point at negative 3, negative 1. Or excuse me, negative 3, positive 1. Let's plot the third point at negative 2, negative 1. Let's plot the fourth point at positive 2, 0. And the fifth point at positive 3, negative 2. Okay, with all these coordinates, in, uh, independent points, we recognize that that is a discrete function. And then we're going to go through and we are going to identify our functions, our values. So f of negative 3, meaning let's go back to negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and find that point. And here's our point, so negative 3, positive 1. So f of negative 3 equals 1, and the coordinates would be negative 3, 1. F of negative 2, I'm going to go back 2 to the left, and I find this point, that would be negative 2, negative 1. So F of negative 2 equals a negative 1, and the coordinates there would be negative 2, negative 1. And then the third one, it says F of 0, or F of what, excuse me, F of what equals negative 2. So I have to go find a Y value of negative 2, and it's right here, and that would be 1, 2, 3. So positive 3, negative 2. So F of 3 equals negative 2. So 3 and negative 2 would be another set of coordinates. For the zeros that we're talking about, again, you're looking for the x-intercepts. And I see one x-intercept right here, the coordinates are 2, 0, so my 0 in this case would be 2, okay? What I would like you to do is I would like you to complete this graph and then bring it in tomorrow, and we will go over these two questions up here and the graph down here, finding f of negative 4, f of negative 2, f of what equals negative 4, and then your zeros.